In the last episode of FBE, I took you fishing along the shallow sand flats of Fraser Island in search of a flathead for dinner. How's that? A whiting on a vibe. There's the vibe. A whiting on that. Crazy, crazy stuff. G'day, my name is Luke and this is my wife, Jen. And here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating and exploring the pristine waters of the Fraser Coast for about 10 years now. So subscribe and come join the adventure. In this episode, I'm joined on board by Eddie, the man responsible for bringing fusion power boats to Australia. He gives us a rundown on what is happening currently with fusion power boats. We catch a few fish and then Jen shows us how to cook crispy skinned mackerel. Mmm, now I'm hungry. There you go. You still fighting? Yeah, yeah. Still going alright? Oh, little. He's off. Mmm. Alright. I think I'm in shock. I think it's been a shock. No, no, no. This has come loose. Still got the hook? Oh yeah, everything. Bait and everything. Oh. G'day folks, Luke here. Thank you so much for watching. Yesterday we were on the flats of Fraser Island uh, securing flathead for dinner. And today we're up in Platypus Bay. The man standing back there, Eddie. Wave to the camera, mate. Eddie is the man responsible for bringing fusion power boats to Australia. What's the latest with fusion power boats, mate? I believe there's some more boats coming. Yeah, mate, there's uh, two 21s and two 17s coming. So, 21 is what Peter Fry at Harvey Bay Fly and Sports Fishing has at the moment. He's operating a 21. Yeah, with a 175. Suzuki 175. That's right, and we're putting on a 250 V8. Barada. 250 V8. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the, another one. And then we still, I think it's going to be a 175 Mercury on the on the second one. On the second one? Yeah, the two the two um, 17s will be two 115s. Yeah. Uh, Pro Access. Um, 115 Mercury Pro Access. And the second will be a 115 Yamaha. I can't wait to see the difference in the stats between those motors, eh? Right? Yeah, there's some, really interesting. there's some good technology coming out from uh, uh, the mob from Mercury. They've got, um, it's like a plug and play. Yeah. You can pass it down to the boat and see, see all the different stats and put them in computers. It's quite good. So we're going to try to generate a few, uh, some nice stats for the guys, you know. Yeah, yeah. Never be as good as the uh, the one right next to you though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Luckily, luckily. Oh, yeah. uh, and are they going to be the first 17s in the country? That's first right. 17 footers? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay. Um, it's going to be a Ascot grey and white, and then a pure white one, the yeah. two coming in. And they'll both, both be based in Barbie Bay. Sweet. That's going to be good. Um, one of the 21s are going down to Noosa. Yeah. And the other one will be based in Barbie Bay. The 250 rider will be based in Barbie Bay as well. Yeah, nice. So. That's what's going on with Fusion Power Boats, folks. Pretty exciting. They are a great hull. I will do a full review on this one in the next couple of weeks. I'm just waiting until I clock up 300 hours on the, uh, the Evanroo G2. We're up in Platypus Bay today. Yesterday was the flats just by myself catching flathead. And today we're scoring some mackerel. We've got some that mackerel in the esky already. Uh, we're hoping we'll get a nice big tuna as well. But it just shows you the diversity of fishing on offer here in Harvey Bay. Like literally, Half hour run that way, we're up on the flats, having a great time in the estuary, and now we're out on a beautiful day up in Platypus Bay. There's some thing. tuners busting on. Tuna busting up over there. Yeah. Rightio, so stand by, hopefully we can show you one. Okay, folks, so we are, we're on a mark. I'm not gonna tell you where the mark is. It's a big secret, isn't it, Eddie? Big secret mark. We don't know where we are. You can see what's on the sander, but what I want to show you is the circle function. So we've engaged the circle function. I've done a video previously on the circle function available with the Altera linked to the Solix. And we're using that. So we basically just picked that central mark, told it we want to circle at 50 meters, and we're just going around in circles. And we've actually got a school of long tail tuna 
in the middle of the circle. So as we're going around, we're just bang, 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 trying to hook one. And at the moment we've been getting mackerel, and we're really hoping we should show you one of these long tail. So we'll get back to that and stop talking about this. Can I put on the thing for you? Yeah, it's already on. It's okay, on. good. Oh, I think he might be found hooked, eh? I don't oh, think he's so. rubbing. I don't think so. That gaff and net's in there in case we need it. Yeah. I'm going a bit hard because I don't want the sharks to get in. Just get this anchor mode up. Gonna stop the yep, just press uh, press the propeller button and then just press anchor mode. God, they fly hard, eh? They are a beautiful fly. Let me turn us a little bit. <laughs> He's coming around. Right. Okay, you going around? Why do they do this? Why do they find the most awkward part of the boat and decide, here we go, got colour. <laughs> got net or gaff? No, it's not the, the net? Yep, he's just here mate. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, it's a Mac tuna. Oh, here we are getting excited about long tail and we score ourselves a Mac. There's a little Mac tuna. Tell you what, he made a good account for himself. Woohoo! Thank you, sir. Got it. I'll take care of that if you want. So that was the lure, folks. That's the bungee cast. You go to the Frogleys Offshore website, you can check those out. You can notice what I've done with the hooks. Okay, perfect profile, perfect size. If you're coming fishing to Harvey Bay and you want to chase pelagics, lures about that size. Here he is. <laughs> Oi, he's putting, his fish are determined to put blood all over my white boat. All good? Here he goes. He's off. She's good, mate. Since we put bait on here, the fish started climbing on board <laughs> <laughs> with lures, but with, they yeah. just knew, they just knew you're something different. <laughs> I thought we caught everything on lures, what's going on? No, we did, but yeah. um, since we used bait, they attracted the Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. a bit of blood at the back, and you know, that's just how it went. <laughs> bait on the boat. Oh my god. What a day, that was an awesome day's fishing. Uh, I've lost count of how many mackerel we ended up. I uh, didn't find any big tuna, but we found plenty of mackerel, so we brought back a feed. Uh, boat has had its tub, that has been cleaned. There was blood everywhere. Um, everything else is laid out on a bit of a dry, hoping to uh, get out again tomorrow. Everything's on charge. 
charging batteries for the electric so we're getting ready for tomorrow this is my new filleting table ironing board awesome for filleting fish on uh, so use that today to clean the mackerel got my Ugg boots on stylish Ugg boots check them out trying to keep warm uh, time to head into the kitchen and see how we're going to cook up the mackerel for dinner Sparky. What's wrong we got? Ooh. This is a test, does she? Does, does she like mackerel? Do we get the not sure. The, oh no, she's turned her nose up at it. Okay folks, we're in the kitchen. Jen, how are we cooking the mackerel this evening? This evening we are having crispy skinned mackerel. Crispy skinned. I haven't cooked it like this before. Whoa, so an experiment. I saw a video by Jamie Oliver's son, who's probably about eight or nine, and he taught us how to cook it. So I figure if he can teach us. He can do it. Surely I've got a chance here. So just tell me how you started off. You started off with a cold pan. I'm nervous about this. It goes against all my intuition, but the recipe said, put it skin side down in a cold pan. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna cook it for most of the time on the skin side. Yep. So I'm I'm not 100% sure how many minutes. It could be five minutes. I'll just be guided by, see how it's pink. Yep. I'll be able to see on that cut side there as it turns white. I want it to be white most of the way through. And then the last side, I'll only cook for 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, and are we adding anything to it? Yes, that reminds me. I have to add salt and pepper from a height. From a height? Yes. That's how it says. I asked Buddy, um, why from a hind and he answered me <laughs> at the perfect timing actually in the video he said because it distributes it better okay all right so, so we'll I see have to wash my goes. hands before I do that okay then it's sticky yeah. and this green stuff there where's this come from this is from our garden our garden it is this lettuce here they all have a story this lettuce grew in between the rocks of our fire pit and we did not plant it <laughs> at some point a lettuce is self-seeded and home -grown veggies. yes some cucumber some snow pea shoots tap soy and there's some rocket under there too nice nice and fresh it's a so fresh we'll meal. so we've gone off a cold pan oh look at that it releases nicely it does I don't know if you can see that starting to crisp up underneath. Yeah, getting crispy. That's a skinny piece, a thin piece there. This is a fat piece and you can see where it's cooked. So that's the fattest part of it, so I'll wait a bit longer before I put that one. Mm. From a height. From a just like in the video, from a hot rib height. <laughs> I think he did pinches of it, but I'll it's difficult at my height, but anyway, from a height. Very elegant beer. And they're not meant to be touching, those two are touching Ooh. them. Don't even touch. Social distancing. Social distancing. In the fry pan. Social distance. Okay. So you can see the pepper on there now. I have to say, dear, just as an aside, they are very stylish Ugg boots. <laughs> Almost as stylish as my own Ugg boots. <laughs> Winter in Queensland. <laughs> anyway, that's just an aside. Look at this. Can you see it's starting to look a bit golden there? Can we have a look? Golden. Yeah. You can see how it's cooking through. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that. mm. That's looking good. It's looking superb. Okay, we're ready to flip. Ready to flip. Ready to flip. He says to do it with confidence. With confidence. Um, I'm using my cake spatula because it's good for manoeuvring. Ready, yeah. set. Oh. oh, look at that. I was very so confident that was one here. Of the skinnier pieces. This one. Is a skinny one, so it should be ready to flip. Let's see if I can flip it into that gap. Ready, set. Well, look at that. I've done it before. I reckon these ones are almost ready. It's done. Have a look at that. Do you think Luke will notice that there's some missing? Probably. <laughs> um, he's gone to pick up some chips to go with it. So even though we're being very virtuous with fresh fish and fresh salad from our garden, we need a few chips to go with it. Um, and I had to taste some. Anyway, he's stuck in the drive-through. There's lots of people that want um, fish, not fish, chips. 
That's what I meant. Chips. Anyway, and I keep tasting it. The skin's really good. Mm-mm. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I'm back with the dodgy chips, dear. Found they the have time. Chip. The fish is probably cold, but no, it's still warm. Two mm. pieces for you. Yes, please. I, I don't recommend the skin. It's not very nice, so maybe just put it on my plate. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's that sort of not nice. Yes. Mm, okay, uh, so I definitely. probably should take this bit because I've maybe eaten some of that already. What? You've been taste testing? You've been have, taste testing? I have. Oh. Oopsie. It's really good. Is it? Um, How much fish do the boys want? Elliot likes fish. I so. think Elliot is lining up for a growth maybe, spurt. Maybe so. this isn't enough. Maybe I should have cooked more. Maybe. So there's, oh no, there's chips. There is chips. And before you turn the video off, oh. we've got to do some from above. <laughs> from above. <laughs> from the garden. And some lemon. Elliot likes some lemon. A little a bit of lemon. It does look beautiful like that, but we're gonna it probably does. add chips. I would have just had some chips to it and ruin it. Thanks, Golden Chicken. Thank you, Golden Chicken, for the chips. I'll tell you what, Golden is not sponsored. No, no. I, I tell you what, Golden Chicken is very busy. I think uh, coronavirus has made takeaway food places very, very busy. People obviously don't like cooking. Oh, that does look. It looks really good, doesn't it? That's uh. Which one's mine? Yeah, that's the <laughs> bo that's the bottomless pit's foot. With no Ugg boots. That's because I'm wearing You're them. not wearing stylish Ugg boots like mum and dad. So, so this is the, uh, this is what, isn't this what all the foodies do? Mm. They, Their food's always cold when they eat it as well. Join me next week when I head deep into Platypus Bay on a solo fishing mission. The sounder lights up and I do battle with some Trevally queenfish and mackerel while jigging. Hope to see you then.